On this channel, my number one goal has been to bring together a community of bright-minded individuals hungry to learn more about the advances happening in baseball. Each video that I post is intended to add something to your toolbox in order to help you all progress towards your goals. In the past, we've covered different statistics and player development practices, but in today's video, we're going to dive into a must-read novel, The MVP Machine, by Ben Lindbergh and Travis Sochik. Welcome to Simple Saber Metrics, the brains behind baseball's latest data-driven revolution. If this is your first time here, and you want to learn more about the practical applications of baseball's latest technologies and training techniques, join the movement now by clicking the subscribe button down below. You saw that right. Welcome to the next chapter of Simple Saber Metrics. What do you think of the new logo? Let me know by clicking the poll in the information tab above. So, what is the MVP machine? Many people have dubbed it, like many other novels before it, the new money ball. And they're right. This is a novel that stands up to the caliber of the classic game-changing book. But a better representation of this book is what Ben and Travis refer to it as early on. And that's Better Ball. This book is all about the science behind this data-driven revolution. It goes into deep detail on the technology being used at the highest level. They use specific examples of how data has flipped players and coaches' careers on their heads. It's exactly the kind of content I've been creating since beginning this channel. So, if you enjoy this channel and you haven't read this book yet, you must. The most interesting part about this whole book is the ability to dive deeper into the perspective of each of those players' individual accounts with all of this new technology. So let's take a deeper dive on that. This book touches on a ton of different technology being used in today's game, and most of it should look pretty familiar if you've been following this channel for a while. But one of the main points of the book isn't just explaining the technology, it's focused on the people who are bringing this change forward inside the sport. Some are called coaches and trainers, I call these people translators, or people with the ability to highlight high-tech information and present it in a digestible way to the people who need it, or in this book, they're referred to as conduits. Either way, no matter what you call them, these types of individuals are working towards the same goal, to build better players. Like I said earlier, the best part about this book is the ability it had to dive deep into the perspective that the coaches, players, and trainers have had during this revolution. It's absolutely fascinating. It takes a deep dive on their lives and their journey utilizing the latest technology how each guy is searching for an edge, whether that is out of a necessity to save their career, or if it simply comes from a deep desire just to be better. This novel does a phenomenal job capturing that, and not just listing all the changes that have happened over time. To give you a better idea, here are some of the athletes and coaches that are featured in this novel, and it's a pretty good lineup. The biggest theme throughout this entire book is challenging the idea that has remained in baseball and in life for quite some time, that talent is innate. This book shows example after example of how player development is utilizing data to change the game. I could dive deep into the insane way Trevor Bauer has literally trained himself into the Cy Young race in recent years, or how the combo of Brian Bannister and Rich Hill helped turn the aging and declining pitcher back into a dominant one, or how each of these, plus more, Hitters have used data to revamp their swings in order to completely change the trajectory of their career. Or even how each of these coaches, including some former Iowa coaches that I've worked with, are doing the work behind the scenes to change the game as we know it. But I'm not going to dive into that today, because I want you to experience this book for yourself. It's truly that good. So what is it about this book that makes it so special? Well, if you're like me, and you want to make an impact on this game, it turns into your world. It's your life. It's your passion. And most of what you do is locked into finding different ways to improve yourself in order to help improve others along the way. During these times, we have a unique opportunity to take a step back, evaluate, and direct yourself down a path to continue to get better every single day. Whether that is reading a stack of books you haven't gotten around to yet, or it's getting connected with colleagues to help expand your network and learn more from the people doing what you want to do in this industry. One of my favorite quotes from the book comes near the end of the novel. It reads, It's scary not to know things, but it's also exciting because it means there's more to learn. 
And that is the kind of mindset you need to have in this game. If you're not getting better, learning about the way the game is changing, the game is going to surpass you. It's the ever-changing battle of hitters versus pitchers, a constant rotation, a game of back and forth. And that is what the novel captures so well. Everybody is doing it, from the majors down all the way through colleges right now. And I've spent the last five years working with most of the technology that was featured in this book since all of it came out, but there were still points to learn from in this book for me. I can't recommend it enough, and it truly has become one of my all-time favorite books. Check it out for yourself, and if you have already, let me know what you thought of the book in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more simple saber metrics, please subscribe. Click the video on the left for more baseball animations or the video on the right to check out my new vlog. Leave a comment and a like down below to show your support and I will see you next Wednesday with a new baseball animation.